should you become an industrial engineer in 2021? That is the question that this video is trying to answer for you. But first, what is an industrial engineer? Industrial engineers are immensely focused on systems and processes. They work for companies such as Amazon, Apple, and Tesla. It will be industrial engineers that really try and refine the process of creating the new Cybertruck in Austin, Texas. Industrial engineers turn complex processes into easy ones so that other people can understand them and work with them. They develop systems that help companies save time, money, and energy. Companies wouldn't be able to produce more products in a short time through production. It is industrial engineers that are trying to produce more products in a shorter period of time. They really try and understand how production works in many different businesses. So what kind of education is required to become an industrial engineer? Well, according to the Occupational Information Network, around 59% of industrial engineers have a bachelor's degree. Only about 11% have a master's degree. So the majority just have a bachelor's degree. And these are the industrial engineers that are actually working in the workforce right now. To eventually become an engineering manager, typically more of them have a master's degree. So if that is one of your ambitions, a master's degree might be needed to secure a future management position. So how are industrial engineers compensated? Well, compared to the other engineering fields, they were 15 out of 15 in terms of pay. They were compensated the least by base salary among the other engineering fields, whereas the engineering field that tends to pay the most is petroleum engineering. But there are definitely some advantages to going into industrial engineering that we'll get into a little bit later in the video. Despite earning less than other engineers, industrial engineers actually have seen pretty good wage growth over the past two decades. In 1999, the average base salary for an industrial engineer was around $60,000. This grew to $93,890 in 2020. Meanwhile, engineering teachers and engineering managers tend to earn a little bit more. And that's one of the benefits of going into pretty much any engineering field. It really gives you a transferable skill set that you can use to get into other occupations. Industrial engineers do have the ability to become engineering teachers teaching on a post-secondary level, engineering managers, software developers, another type of engineering, and a host of other occupations. And this isn't to say you can't make great money as an industrial engineer. The median salary, not the average salary, was around $89,000 in the United States in 2020. Whereas the top 10% of industrial engineers earn more than $137,000 per year. And this isn't managers. This is actually just people working as industrial engineers. And geography also definitely plays a role in the compensation of industrial engineers. The Evergreen State in 2020 was the highest paying state for industrial engineers. No surprise, this is where Amazon is located. The average base salary for an industrial engineer in the Evergreen State was around $111,000 per year, so a lot more than the average base salary nationwide. Internationally, there isn't too many statistics on the average base salary of an industrial engineers across the world, but I did find that in the United States, they tend to earn a lot more than in Canada, but surprisingly, industrial engineers in Australia tend to make a little bit more than industrial engineers in the United States, even when converting over from the Australian dollar to the United States dollar. So this changes all the time. It really depends on the currency, how strong the dollar is against other global currencies. So that covers the compensation of industrial engineers. Next up, what is the demand like? Is it challenging to get a job as an industrial engineer or is the market super saturated? Do you have to move to certain places to find work? The first thing to understand, and this is a huge advantage to going into industrial engineering, is that and there are a lot of employed industrial engineers around the United States. It's one of the big three engineering fields. Whereas there's around 300,000 civil engineers, 293,000 mechanical engineers, there was around 314,000 employed industrial engineers when you combine them with health and safety engineers. There's a lot of overlap there. So there is a lot of employed and thus a lot of employment opportunities for people in this occupation. And industrial engineers have seen their ranks grow over the past two decades. In the year 2000, there was around 172,000 employed industrial engineers across the United States. This grew to 313,000 in the year 2020. So, and notice that in 2020, their numbers didn't dwindle at all. Whereas civil and mechanical engineering, they both lost between 10 and 15,000 employed in 2020. Industrial engineers lost only about four or 5,000. This is an extremely resilient 
occupation that is very seems to be very recession proof. So there's been a gain of almost 140,000 employed industrial engineers just in two decades. The government is forecasting a 10% growth in industrial engineers going into the future. This would actually be slower than what has happened historically. The other thing to keep in mind about this occupation that it is a little bit regional. There are certain hubs that have lots and lots of employed industrial engineers. One of these, no surprise, is the state of Michigan. There are, are a lot of employed industrial engineers in the state of Michigan, most likely supporting the auto industry and other manufacturing. The state of Michigan, also known as the Wolverine State, is not only a great state for industrial engineers, there's actually a lot of employed mechanical engineers as well supporting the auto industry. Texas and California also have a high number of employed industrial engineers, and there'll be a lot supporting the new Cybertruck as Tesla starts trying to manufacture them. So one way to gauge the competitiveness of this occupation is to compare the number of employed, the, the size of the workforce of an occupation against the number of job postings right now. I usually use indeed.com. When I did a general search of industrial engineer job postings across the entire United States, there were about 20,000 job postings at the filming of this video. This gives us a ratio of about like one to 15, one job posting per 15 employed. And this kind of puts us almost into a shortage territory. It isn't an oversaturated field at all. There's definitely a need for more and more industrial engineers in the United States. So another factor to look into to see if this occupation would be compatible with your interests and personalities to take a Myers-Briggs personality test. According to the Myers-Briggs company, there are certain personality types that are really attracted to trying to become an industrial engineer. In the book, MBTI Type Tables for Occupations, second edition, they actually found that the most likely Myers-Briggs type to become an industrial engineer is actually the commander, also known as the ENTJ. The second most likely type to become a, an industrial engineer is the INTJ, the architect, third, the debater, the ENTP, and fourth, the director, the ESTJ. So this is just one more factor to help you figure out if this occupation is for you. It definitely really helps to be systems oriented, process focused. All those traits really help you become a, a successful industrial engineer. So as you can see, there are pros and cons to becoming an industrial engineer in 2021. If you enjoyed this video, also check out my civil engineering and mechanical engineering videos. Both of these videos also go over base salaries, the job market, the demand, the educational requirements, how many people have bachelor's degrees, how many have master's degrees, and a host of other factors to help you find a career that you're very interested in. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.